Recent spate of police killings took center stage today when the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service held their weekly news conference to update the public on their activities. Inspector Wayne Meister stressed that while deadly force isn't first choice, it's encouraged when necessary. Ian Wayson has more in this report. The recent spate of shootings involving police was the topic of conversation at the Police Administration Building as Inspector Wayne Meister fielded questions at the weekly update. However, Inspector Meister indicated that all of the investigations into these shootings are currently underway. However, he further stated that deadly force is sometimes vital for officers to preserve their own lives. If police officers proceed to a scene and the force that has been met with them is deadly force, it means to say that the police officers need to use the appropriate force to match the force that has been met to them. So if deadly force is something that could place the police officers' lives and other persons' lives in danger, then we need to match that force. So from time to time, police officers will have to use deadly force to deal with certain situations. Meanwhile, Inspector Meister told the media that investigations into the death of little Matai Phillips have begun. Yes, well, we, the police, we are in possession of the, the autopsy results. I communicated with the Homicide the Central Southern Bureau and they will be interviewing the caretaker of the school today. The public information officer also made a call for citizens to step forward and assist the investigators with information. It's amazing that information is readily to the public when there's a shooting involving police officers, but other than that, we, and it's very difficult for us to get information from the public. So we are pleading on members of the public to furnish us some information, 800 tips, call anonymously and give us some information that will lead to the arrest of these persons who committed this, those crimes. There have been 26 shootings involving police for the year thus far, eight of which have included young men under the age of 20. Ian Wilson, C News.